Welcome to this holy instant now. An instant to stop and remember. Remember who and what you truly are beyond the matrix of fear, lack, and limitation. All that seems to limit you in this world is only an illusion that demands your continued belief and attention in order to have any power over you. Now is your opportunity to let go of whatever stands in the way of your complete awareness of your true and original self. Sit back with your spine upright, get comfortable, and take a deep, slow breath. And as you exhale, release both past and future, release both memory and imagination, and become fully present in the now. And let's begin. The contemplation with which we begin today's practice is this. What is the body? From a greater awareness, the body is seen as a temporary illusory and ego-driven concept that is used in the dream matrix as a substitute identity to replace the awareness of your true self. The body is like a fence that an aspect of yourself imagines exists to separate parts of itself from other parts. It is within this fence that it thinks it lives to die as the body decays and crumbles. The body is a dream. Like other dreams, it sometimes seems to picture happiness, but can quite suddenly revert to fear where every dream is born, where only love creates in truth, and truth can never fear. Made to be fearful, must the body serve the purpose given to it. But we can change the purpose which the body will obey by changing what we think that it is for. Consider the body's purpose from this perspective. Instead of being your prison, where you are doomed to loss, lack, limitation, and ultimately death, the body can be seen as the means by which you return to the full awareness of your true self. In the dream matrix, the body was made to fence you into limitation and death without escape. Yet now, the goal of heaven has been exchanged for the fascination with separation and pain. And now the body is holy, for it serves a holy purpose. It now serves to heal the mind that it was meant to lead to death. You will identify with what you think will make you safe. Whatever it may be, you will believe that it is one with you. The body-based identity is a false promise 
that seems to offer safety through separation. And yet your safety lies in truth and not in lies. Love is your safety. Separation and fear do not exist. Identify with love and you are safe. Identify with love and you are whole. Identify with love and you will find your true self. Take a moment now to contemplate the contrast between the ego's perspective that your safety and home are in the body and the perspective of truth that where you are is in the mind of the infinite creator and it is here that your safety is guaranteed by God. Allow this contemplation to saturate your mind, to shape your perceptions, your thoughts, and your decisions, transforming the way that you see and illuminating the way of awakening to the truth. Take the next minute or so to do this now. And now, take a deep, slow breath. And as you let it go, let your mind and body relax. Allow all tension to dissipate. As you let go of the past and the future, And allow yourself to come fully into presence now. Words and concepts will mean little to us now. For now we seek the direct experience of truth alone. We leave the thoughts of the dream matrix behind and will to enter the kingdom of peace within. And here we wait in quiet expectation for the direct experience of God and the revelation of our oneness with our source and our unity with all things. So take one more deep, slow, and full breath in. And as you let it go, open your mind to take in the idea with which we practice today. My sight goes forth to look upon my true self.
infinite creator, I ask your blessing on my sight today. It is the means which you have chosen to become the way to show me my mistakes and go beyond them. It has given me to find a new perception through the guide you gave to me and through his lessons to surpass perception and return the truth. I ask for the dream which transcends all those I made. Today I choose to see a world forgiven in which I see my true self reflected in the face of every living being and learn that what I look upon belongs to me and that there is nothing else in all existence except my holy self whom you, infinite creator, created perfect. Today our sight is blessed indeed. We share one vision as we look upon the face of Him whose self is ours. We are one because of Him who is the Christ of God, of Him who is our own true identity. Infinite Creator, in this world of illusion, I ask for the vision that unveils my errors and guides me beyond them. Let my perception be transformed through the divine guidance you have given me, transcending the illusion of this world to embrace the eternal truth about myself. I choose to see a world forgiven where my true essence is reflected in the eyes of every being. And so my sight goes forth to look upon my true self in all that I perceive.
as you approach the completion of this practice period. Take another deep, slow, and full breath in. Breathing in all of the energy and frequency of your practice. Integrating it into all aspects of your thought system and your perception now. And as you exhale slowly, relax and release and allow the integration to take place. And remember to bring this feeling, this awareness, and this idea with you into the rest of your day. My sight goes forth to look upon my true self. Infinite Creator, I ask your blessing on my sight today. It is the means which you have chosen to become the way to show me my mistakes and go beyond them. It has given me to find a new perception through the guide you gave to me and through his lessons to surpass perception and return the truth. I ask for the dream which transcends all those I made. Today I choose to see a world forgiven in which I see my true self reflected in the face of every living being and learn that what I look upon belongs to me and that there is nothing else in all existence except my holy self whom you, infinite creator, created perfect. My gratitude is to you for investing this time and energy into your awakening and the awakening of the world. If you enjoyed and benefited from this practice and wish to support this channel, take a moment to like the video, subscribe to continue the journey, and leave a comment in the comment section below, sharing what you will embrace and what you will release that will allow you to step ever more fully into your true self.